We will not, in fact, absolutely need to uphold the license share exams. It has come to stay and it is supposed to help in the process of professionalization, unquote. These were the words of the chairman of the National Teaching Council, Professor Eric Nyako Samson, in an exclusive interview with Wendy Lai. The National Teaching Council is mandated by the Education Act 2000, Act 778, Section 9, to improve professional standing and status of teachers, licensed and registered teachers in Ghana. But is the licensure exams necessary? So you are examining them to assess how they fit to teach. We have something we call fit to teach. Fit to teach stems out from the, the qualifications you say you have or prospective teachers in the country who sought to be professional from 2017-2018 academic year and beyond were scheduled to write a professional examination. The first exam was held in 2018. What about NAPCO trainees, volunteer teachers and national service personnel who teach? The Act gives the NTC a leeway to get some of those people employed, to approve for them to be employed. But then whilst on that employment, they will have to take steps, get the training that is required. And such persons are given up to two years, which may be renewed. If by two years you've not acquired the, the necessary qualifications, then you have to be taken off. You have to take off, go by the act as it, as it stands. Other than that, it will be back and forth. On the license being recognized internationally, this is what the chairman of the Council of the National Teaching Council, Professor Eric Nyakun Samson, said. We are working on it within the African sub-region and then we will launch out. Remember, Ghana is a member of IFTRA, the International Federation of Teaching Regulatory Authorities, which will talk about teacher professionalization. So, you know, gradually we are getting there, but we need to build our African stronger and then we get internationally. He reiterated, in-service teachers will not write the exams, but measures are being put in place to ensure they have their license. Various stakeholders have had varied views on the exams. Former President John Dramani Mahama, in a live address on Facebook on December 23, 2019, indicated he will scrap the exams if given the note in 2020. But the Ghana National Association of Teachers has kicked against that decision. Professor Eric Nyako Samson says that is not the way to go. Improvement is continuous, so who doesn't like improvement? But to say that you will scrap it because of that, then that is not good. Because you are looking at how do they enter the profession. We think if you want to professionalize teaching, if you want to give teachers the dignity that they deserve, the way to go is to let them have the licensure.